and Hello and welcome to Art of Class Part 3 where we're looking at how to create great music for dance class. If you haven't visited uh, my last master classes, have a look again at the six principles that I always use of tension release, line, lift, drive, support and breadth all to held together within the seventh discipline of precision. Today I'll be talking about line and how you can create great music that helps the dancer achieve better line. Let's look at the contours this dancer, my colleague Evan Loudon of Scottish Ballet, creates when he is working right inside the music that I'm playing. I can see the shape of my music being almost drawn in three dimensions by Evan through space with the linear shape that he is creating. And what defines good line in music? Well for me it's a coherent memorable melody. Once we can define what good melody actually is then it can be held together by simple and beautiful harmony. Okay how do we achieve great melody? Well there are three simple fundamentals which defines success, these are scale passages, arpeggios, and of course, repetition, and that could also mean sequencing. The vast majority of memorable music in the public consciousness sticks to these principles, and so we have a fantastic legacy of music using scales from Beethoven to the Beatles, and everyone has experienced the passionate singing of the South African National Anthem at the Rugby World Cup. It uses just scales. And what about the most famous melodies with the main theme composed using entirely arpeggios? Why do they stick in your mind? Listen deeply to what other musicians are doing when they create great line and dance class and you can extract their good ideas and put it into your own music. When I'm teaching I often say copy, comprehend, create. The idea of copying is absolutely essential for us when we are learning. Educational commentator Tony Buzan explains that unless we copy as babies, we don't achieve our full potential as we grow up. And he described himself as a radiant thinker, which is brilliant terminology. Your next improvisation challenge is simply worked out on the white notes of the keyboard. Choose any note and then use this composition technique which I call the step method. You may move only by one step and no jumps. One step higher, one step lower. Stay on the same note or remain silent. Just as an aside, when you're working on these white notes and choosing any note to start on, you'll realise that you're starting to make modal music and later on in another video we'll be looking at modes. So back to melody and what about arpeggios. Play 
it around with a few arpeggios in different inversions and just acknowledge what difference it may make to a chord by simply inverting it. Here I'm playing in D major. What if we approached each note of the arpeggio from a semitone below? from above. Don't get overly concerned about the actual notes of approach in this exercise. More think of the chords uh, one semitone below or one semitone higher to D major in this case. So that would be D flat major or E flat major. Think less about the actual notes and more about the shape. You can hear great results in this technique in all genres of music from classical to jazz and even in my old days of playing in a country band. You can see now that you're starting to create some really interesting patterns when you're using scale passages with arpeggios and the result can be truly wonderful. Think of melody in the context of dance as having a sense of floating and falling. And if you have time, tune into some of Leonard Bernstein's Lincoln Hall lectures way back in the 50s. They're still on YouTube, especially the one here which gives his idea on melody. As the usual credits roll, I would like to introduce you to a wonderful dancer, Luke Amit, whom I have known and admired for many years. He received an Olivier nomination for his work and here we see his skill in creating exquisite line. Not all music we play in dance class needs to be wholly improvised. Here I extemporise on Mozart's famous Elvira Madigan slow movement. It's a theme which embodies perfect line using all the techniques we've explored in this video. In the next masterclass, we'll be talking about lift, one of the most difficult concepts to achieve in music for dance. Until then, please do visit artofclass.online anytime.